So now that we are off of hold, I'm learning using uh, YouTube. And one of the people I'm listening to is Jensen Huang, who's the head of NVIDIA. And his statement here, the future is generative, as opposed to old computing with storage and retrieval. You put something out there, you get it back, organized and whatnot, and that's been fabulous. But going forward, you're going to get unique answers that have never been stored before, but are generated based on your questions. Let's listen to what he has to say about his learning. I, and, and so the thing I learned is, is uh, uh, you, you can make up a great interview. You could even have a bad interview. But you can't run away from your past. And so have a good past. You know, try to have a good past. And, and, and in a lot of ways, I was serious when I said I was a good dishwasher. I was probably Denny's' best dishwasher. <laughs> um, I, I planned my work. I was organized. You know, I was mise en place. And then I washed the living daylights out of the dish, dishes. Uh, and then, and then you know, they promoted me to bus. I was certain I'm the best busboy Denny's ever had. <laughs> You know, I, was, I never left the station with empty-handed. I never came back empty-handed. I was very efficient. And then they, uh, and so anyways, eventually I became, you know, a CEO. I'm working, I'm still working on So that was a week ago at Stanford Business School. And I think you get a sense of how resilience and learning mix together. And so today I asked ChatGPT, is what's a teacher? What, what is the root of to teach? And this is what it came with. A teacher is someone who points things out, who shows. And I think what we're playing with here are tools that help people show things, to point things out. This resonated because at South by Southwest last week, the product manager for ChatGPT was talking about learning. I actually believe that AI fundamentally makes us more human. Um, I think that if you take a look at AI as a tool, I see AI as a tool, it's a really powerful tool, it unlocks the ability for us to go deeper and explore some of the things that uh, we're wondering about. So I think you know, one thing you could take a look at is kids. So you have kids? I do. I, I have kids. Um, I think kids are the purest form of what it means to be human, right? And you take a look at your kids, and how old are, is, are your kids? Uh, zero and two and a half. Zero and two and a half. Those are great ages. Um, and so for your two and a half year old, would you say that uh, they ask uh, questions sometimes, often, or all the time? I made a mistake of trying to train her to be a journalist. So we asked the five questions like where, what, why, when, how, and yeah. why is her favorite as every parent knows. And yeah, yeah. there's no end to it. There's no end to it. It's actually fun. It's a game to see if they, I can exhaust her before she's finished asking why questions. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I have kids too, and I would say that uh, you know my kids ask a lot of questions. They ask a lot of great questions, and I think fundamentally our minds are curious, um, and that's a good expression of it. And I think what AI does is it lets us go deeper and ask those questions and keeps on going. Um, I'll give you an example of this. So just two days ago, I read an article that was on LinkedIn called, Because of ChatGPT, I Can Now Enjoy Shakespeare. Um, and it was this really fascinating read, um, and I don't know if it's about you, but when I was in high school learning you know, Shakespeare, it was a struggle, right? I would go home and read the, the uh, chapters, and I wouldn't understand half the words that were being said, and I'd go to class, and um, you know, between 1 and 2 p.m., uh, go to English class, and the English teacher would have some lecture planned, but maybe I can squeeze in one, maybe two questions about that I was curious about the text. And now, with AI, uh, this person actually you know, just reads Shakespeare, has ChatGPT voice mode open, and just starts asking questions, every question that he's curious about, about the scene, un uh, unearthing the character's intentions. That bit of exploration and what AI can let him do is just really powerful. I think that's, that's fundamentally enabling us to be that curious human uh, mind. We can ask questions. These tools transform from being storage and retrieval to generative.